this fucking jerk off rat so fat so uh, Connington is such a lying piece of sack of dog shit. All he knows how to do is lie and, you know, manipulate things and, um, you know, this fucking guy is just stupid motherfucker, I'll tell you. Do we have a library around here? Uh, I, I think we do. Um, anyway, you know what? I don't have to like hoodlums the chocolato people are i would say 85 percent hoodlum hoodlumatic shoot kill steal drugs guns illegal weapons gangs um they're involved in the most criminal activity and the rap music uh See, they don't get the same news in New Hampshire we get here in New York, but on the news there were several uh, rappers over the course of months that were arrested uh, and charged for weapons and uh, criminality. Just like, uh, what was that guy, um, R.J. Smith, whatever, got uh, 30 years and he's still going on trial for something else that he was you know, raping 14-year-old girls. R. Kelly, that's his name. And um, some other rappers that were murdered because they were involved in the um, in the gang activity. And uh, that's all they, they know how to do is be involved in gangs and kill people. So if Ratso... I don't give a fuck what he understands. He's an ignorant piece of dog shit. And people like him should just you know, drown at some creek or something because he's such an ignorant motherfucker and he's such a traitor to his own kind. He's a sellout to his own kind. And, um, you know, he's just a fucking traitor to, to his own his own race. And how can he defend criminals? Uh, and there's a lot of different criminals out there. And... Uh, and you're going to call me a racist because I don't like the uh, liberal douchebags that are siding with the blacks now and sucking their dick for milk money and kissing their fucking ass and all this bullshit, uh, selling out to them, sucking their dick, licking their asshole with their tongue like this to the, to the uh, Chocolato man. You know? And... Uh, I'll tell you something, man. I'll tell you something. I uh, I think, you know, I believe in this country, but I don't believe in New York. I don't believe in, like, Jersey or Connecticut, any of these eastern states, these sanctuary liberal douchebag states where you have the Becky girls and the Becky guys and, and these uh, leftist liberal pigs. Uh, there's a uh, town... I'm not going to mention the town that had a uh, had a sign that said Black Lives Matter. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, Black Lives Matter is a terrorist group that was involved in numerous terrorist activities during the time Trump was president. And what I like about Trump is that he sticks out for the white man. He knows the deal. He knows this 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 leftist liberal communism bullshit. That they want to take away your guns, they want to take away, they want to make changes to the Constitution, to the amendments. They're, you know, uh, you know, they, they they hate this guy, and uh, regardless of what he did in business or all the things that people have accused him of, he built New York, and there's not a fucking thing that these cocksuckers can say about him. He built New York. He built the skyscrapers. He built the hotels. Okay? So it doesn't matter what his business practices were. I think he was pretty fucking successful. And he understands the plight of the middle class and the white man who is getting the shaft. And the white man and the white women. Though let's not forget those those nice white women too, you know, who are who are not Becky girls, they're not Karen girls. Um, you know, uh, I call them cunts. 
you know, the leftist liberal Karen girl, Becky girls, but I'm just going to call them Becky girl. And they're cunts. And, uh, you know, they're the ones that are into lesbianism and LBGQism. And, uh, uh, you know, they stole our rock and roll flag, the, you know, that they're using now, the gay flag that belongs to the rock and rollers. And that was stolen. <coughs> and uh, that's all they know how to do is steal. Steal from the cool people. Okay? Um, they don't want you, you know, that's why I'm the savior of rock and roll. Because they don't want you to listen to good rock and roll music. You know, they don't want you to feel. They don't want, they want to make you into a robot. Into a non-feeling uh, subhumanoid like them. It's just like the Twilight Zone. Uh, when they had that uh, segment uh, that all of a sudden uh, ugly was, was good and in and uh, pretty was the ugly one. So that's how these liberals are acting. Hold on. And they're just, they're just trying to fuck everything up for us. Uh, and that they're uh, you know employing now eighty six thousand IRS agents uh, to carry lethal weapons and to kill people if they don't do their uh, taxes right. They're going to have guns now, and now they're going to kill people. Um, another Waco, right? And uh, but this country has changed dramatically from what I remember it, and. Uh, you know, people knew their place back then. People now are coming out of the closets. They're coming out of the sub-basements. They're coming out of the ground. They're coming out of the sewer system. Like Ratso Fatso, he came out of the sewer system. He's just a scum. He's not, I don't even consider him a fucking human being, but a scum, a human scumbag. That's what Connington is, Ratso Fatso. <laughs> you know, but... Um... You know, okay, so I got very angry today. I don't know if I'll make the same kind of videos tomorrow. I'm not really into going on face crap and, um, you know, making videos now. Um, I think I have a lot of traitors on that page also. So, um, but I really don't care because, you know, I'm not here. I'm making videos now. I took the entire off of uh, September, but maybe once I get into the swing of things and putting my show together, uh, all these videos that I'm putting on, um, you know, I'll make maybe one or two videos a week if I if I if I do that. And I probably will do that, and uh, because I I uh, I want to tell people what a scumbag, low life, subhuman being, douchebag, uh, asswipe. Uh, dick sucker of the Chocolatos, uh, a, a guy like him should be fucking, in the old days, I'm saying, they would have hung him for treason. And Ratso is a treasonous, sellout, poisonous, subhumanoid piece of dog shit. And uh, every time I mention Ratso, Fatso, I got to put on my, my, uh, my big black boots because I'm walking in human feces dog shit. That's what he is. Human feces, dog shit. And, uh, you know, to be honest with you, uh, people are, people today are no fucking good. And Ratso Fatso and his little fucking entourage of douchebag asswipes from New Hampshire are living proof that these people are the scum of the earth. And um, I can't believe that these scumbags came into my life because I never sought them out. All I wanted was a gig. Ratso wouldn't produce a gig for me because he's a fucking manipulative piece of shit. He's the type of guy that'll talk nice to you, to your face, and then talk shit behind your back when you're least expected. So, Ratso, keep talking your stupid shit because you're nothing but a punk and a fucking pussy and a coward hiding behind the fucking glass. You come to New York and come see me sometime, man to man in person, and let's see if you gonna talk shit behind my back, and let's see if you're gonna tell me about calling me a fucking racist and all that shit. Just say it to my fucking face, motherfucker. 
Come to fucking New York.